I have a feeling we're not in Borgovia anymore. Something was wrong with the gate. The ink is growing restless. Can you feel it? Is this my cue to say, Oh no! We're trapped here for eternity! Not yet. There must be a way out of here. Right. The official Van Helsing motto. Well, with that, hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play The Incredible Adventures of, of Van Helsing. As you can see, something was wrong and completely off the charts. So we now should quickly destroy all of the enemies right here because we are in a tight space. I wanted actually to teleport back to the spot we have been at the end of the last episode guys but as you can see there was a little problem there with the teleportation so here we are right now fighting against those enemies right here um what can i do with the throw a bone relic into the mouth leave the idol alone we throw a bone is anything happening Okay, we got some XP, alright. So I have honestly no direct clue where we are and why this happens. All I know, all I guess is we have to fight our way out of it. And as you can see, we have to get there, so we have to cover quite a little bit of space. I need healing potions. So let's reach over oh, that I shouldn't have stood into. But sometimes tiny little mistakes just happen. Okay, come on, get down. They take a lot of beating, I tell you. Can I do anything here? No. Okay. I guess we are not going the right way here. But that is a thing I do. I did in Diablo 3 and I obviously do in this game. I always um, go through all the map. That is just a weird little thing I always did. I did that in Diablo 1, Diablo 2. And in the Hero 3, so I'll of course do it here as well. So there we could be in a little bit of trouble in a no, okay. I thought we would run into a dead end, which I guess would have been our clear death. And the lightning there was amazing, it was hitting them at the right spot of but I have the weird little feeling that I should kill of the breeders because elsewise there will be more of the brain spawns. Um, respawn at the last checkpoint. So we have to kill off the breeders before we face the little guys there come on at least give me one why didn't I take a health potion damn it sometimes my um, decisions are really really bad as you can see so health portion taken I thought so, there was a nice lightning and then let's kill those dudes so they don't respawn those breeders. They can see why we had the little pr trouble there. They spawned so many of them that we had problems, you know, killing the newly or the old ones off. And they already have spawned the new ones. That then always is a little problem. I need healing. But that the same problem. I don't want to call it a problem, but the same thing I faced in Inquisitor Martyr as well. If you know what I'm talking about, if you watch a Let's Play, if you haven't do it, um, there are so-called Hell Brutes, which are um, 
which can spawn um, enemies as well. You know, they are tough big guys and they can spawn little units as well and they're often the respawn rate is so high that you can't kill off all the guys before he has actually spawned new ones and I see the same thing here with the breeders it's a little nasty I have to tell you I would like to kill the breeder but I can't so now actually we should be in top shape we have killed all of those breeders so that right now should give us the edge here at least i hope that of all the enemies i tell you i think these um little guys here are absolute aggravating because there are so many and once you are stuck you are in a world of hurt all right, kill them off. I guess we died a little too often right here, but you know, sometimes you just have to die your way on, actually. Okay, is the silver ring any good? I don't think so. I'm currently, I don't know whether that is the right move or not. Somehow, right now, rather going to damage than to anything else. I don't know whether that in the end is going to be a problem because we are maybe going to be a class cannon like in the um, wizard in Diablo 3 with you know ultra damage but you can't hold up one single hit of an enemy um, so I'm not sure whether I'm going in the right direction there but currently that is the move um, what I could do as well of course what I will do I can still spend some mobility points and I'm thinking about you know putting them into the body to increase our HP um, although I have to say I'm not sure whether we uh, you can see we die quite quickly I don't know whether we have a health or a protection problem we may have um, you know a combined problem there of not having enough health and not having enough protection but at least with protection I don't know what else we could do. I mean, gear wise, we have only, in my opinion, the best gear we have available equipped, so. But still, I am no expert in this game, and I probably will never be a expert here. So, what I'm actually curious about is the um, playtime of this game. Um, I heard that it would be quite a long and I'm actually planning to play the second and the third part as well so this could be quite a long let's play I tell you and I hope you are in for it and enjoy it that would mean the world to me so these guys shall fall what I really think is good in this game um, you know there is always stuff you in every game you do not like I and you like I for example right now playing God of War the new God of War which just has been released and I it is an absolute amazing game but even in the most amazing games there are certain things you do not like but anyhow that's not the topic by the way God of War is absolutely amazing <laughs> What I want to say, even in good games, there are is are always stuff you don't like and you can complain about. That's just it. But honestly, I forgot what I actually wanted to say. Um, except, you know, I will play all parts, of course, all three. And yes, I forgot what I want to say. But come to think about this, you may know, um, Neo Core Games developed this game. And Neocore game is developing uh, one of um, in Crystal Tomato as well. So what I think is quite cool that you maybe I'm you know just imagining that, but um, I think you on one hand feel some similarities in style, and I think gameplay-wise there are some similarities as well. And I think 
Inquisitor Marcher feels like the next step of the evolution um, right here in the style of the game and that's actually nice that you can see stuff like that in games from the same company which I not too too often actually had, especially not with EA games though EA is a publisher and not a studio I guess so we should kill off the readers there I guess um, really fast in order to not get the problems we had before. So, the readers, come on, get down. I don't like them. So that guy is gone. But as you can see, still plenty of the brain spawns are there. And I have to tell you, I think these guys are really annoying. much but this is right now acceptable so some bigger enemies here which I will quickly take down with no problem whatsoever so these guys as you can oh 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 I need to heal myself up fall quickly as Cake, nice, nice, nice. One survived, not for long. Taking the gold and everything with us. I'm wondering what these glowing stones are actually telling us right here. So, that is funny. They are flying, but they are not really... Um, not really fast that is actually quite funny down there so we cleared out quite a lot of enemies right here i would overall like to know how many enemies we have actually killed in combined in this let's play that would be nice to know a dreadful massacre who did this you're looking at it Behind the rabbit? It is the rabbit. Don't try to be funny. I wouldn't dream of it. Um, is this the holy rabbit out of... Uh, the life of... Um, life of Brian? Could that be? The scene of the holy grenade I'm um, referring to. That would be quite funny. Here you can see it falls quickly, no problem at all. The only problem I had there was actually, you know, getting some hits at it. Alright, we found some bone relics, I don't know what we can do with them, but that I guess we will find out at some point. So anyhow, you have to get all the way around, oh crap, there I nearly walked into all of them enemies. Don't have any healing Come portions. on, get up. Uh, take these guys out. To be honest, um, I, you know, I think the lightning is quite cool. It does its damage, especially. I think it's really worth against the um, horde enemies, like I don't have like enough all of them. Um, little brain eaters or how they are called from the breeders these guys but against big guys it is whoa 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 not really good no there we died but that is the perfect point to end this episode guys well 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 what an episode we haven't done much it feels at least like we are um, stuck in the lost place right now but we are on the way out and in the next episode we will finally find our way out of here i hope for now as usual guys if you have something to say leave me a comment tell me give me feedback that is always much appreciated anyhow if you um, like this episode please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i will hopefully see you in the next episode where we will hopefully 
find a way out of the lost place. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.